Welcome to 24 Days of Drops, an Animal Crossing New Horizons advent calendar that reveals a new build for a differently themed island entrance each day until Christmas. Are you ready for today's theme? Hello, hello, and welcome to day 16 of our Animal Crossing New Horizons Advent Calendar. <laughs> Today we are working on an island entrance that I'm super excited for because I have my recent obsession where the Uncharted games because I was never able to play them and I finally got them on PC because they released the, I think it's the Thieves Collection or Collection of Thieves or something. Legacy, Legacy of Thieves, that's what it's called, Collection for PC. So I've been playing those and this island entrance is inspired specifically by, I mean, it's kind of inspired by both the DLC with Chloe and Nadine, and then also um, the fourth part, like A Thieves' End, I think it's called. And I really wanted to create this jungle call island entrance, but there are a couple of hints to the game that I will point out once we once we get to them. But welcome in, how are you doing, my love? I hope you're well. Today, what is today? What is today's day? Today is Friday for you. Welcome to Friday. I hope you're having a wonderful day today, my dear. But yeah, I really, really like this island. It's going to be super overgrown and jungly. And then we obviously have that pavilion at the back. Also, this to the left, I was initially going to have some waterfalls going down from there and then go across the, the screen almost to kind of go in front of the pavilion. But that would have taken up too much space and the foliage bit wouldn't have looked as dense. So I decided against the water bit and we're only going to use this cliff to tuck it in a bit more and give it some more height and also hide resident services obviously and I really like how this looks especially if you pan your camera up all the way when you're standing right at the entrance I think it looks really really nice especially during the lighting also that I chose for this because I think I set this to like around the 17 17 minute what the fuck see that's the 24 hour uh, girly coming out of me that's the European time concept kind of Gaily coming out for me. The 5 p.m. I set this to 5 p.m. for the final tour. Imagine. Oh my god, 17 minute. What the fuck am I doing? But yeah, yeah, really like it. And we're also gonna do um because I in, in Uncharted, for those of you who don't know the games, they are about like treasure hunting kind of. So I wanted there to be a couple older bits. So we're gonna implement a couple of statues, like the lion, the stone lion statue, and some rocks, some stone tablets. And we're also gonna be using the new um is it called like the the glowing altar or something like the altar you will see you will see and like a sword because to me the sword if you put it if you place it it can also look like a like one of those mechanical switches so I thought that that could be kind of cool and um, because you have to use a couple of those in the games and I thought that was a nice little nod to that and obviously the pavilion in the back is going to be sort of hidden but you will see the top like the kind of dome of the of the pavilion you will see that and I really really like that and I know that the item is not called a pavilion I know that it's a, um, yeah, it's called a gazebo. I did not have to wait for me to place that at all. <laughs> no, but it is a pavilion though. It is not a gazebo. Like to me, a gazebo is more like just a shelter thing. I, I know that this is a gazebo, but to me, that is a pavilion and I will keep calling it a pavilion. I'm very sorry. Okay. And, um, but here you can see me place this stunning ruined circle and that's also where I thought we would be placing that altar but I wasn't sure how I would even implement an altar or what I would do with that stone circle I just knew that I wanted one so that stone circle is going to move around a little bit throughout this build and we're going to have the path not broken up but it's going to just go to the right in front of the stone circle and we're going to move the stone circle back and I really just love how that looks I really like the code again all the codes are going to be in the description box down below. I also really like this dark dirt kind of path that we have here. This is initially, I think, a autumn path. But I felt like it just really made so much sense to be this, like, red dirt road. Because some of those um, you actually do find a lot in the games. And I thought that, that was just brilliant. And you can also... I, I tried to make some little annotations just in case I have to chop up my voiceover a little bit. And it doesn't fully align with when I'm actually placing certain things. Um... 
I'm going to try to call certain things out in annotations in the video because, for example, I wanted to hide the planter boxes, which was a bit tricky because I placed them to the side. So since you're looking from them on a diagonal, it was sometimes a bit difficult to hide them, but I managed to do that quite well. In a second, you will also see me pop in a little car, a red car, because for those of you who have played the games may know that we were riding a red kind of, it was more like a, like an exploration car thingy like you know those jeep thingies an exploration car what the fuck is an exp exploration car a jeep but obviously we sadly don't have a jeep so i just used the normal mini car turned it around and i do really like how that looks it just adds another different item and i feel like it, it just makes it i don't know it just adds something because i didn't just want to use foliage because obviously we have a good mix of trees we use the palm trees the bamboo trees and the hardwood trees and I, I decided against the cedars i felt like that was a bit of an overkill and i liked the similar color palette that all the trees that we did use in this build had because all of them have like fairly light leaves and they aren't as dark as the cedar trees so i thought that really really worked so so well but yeah also this is a super short build again i feel like my builds keep getting shorter and shorter i think it's a because i'm getting faster and b i don't know i don't i don't really know like some of them just took the same amount of time as like an 18 minute video but for some reason that the, the videos keep getting shorter so i'm very sorry i'm not doing this on purpose um i mean with that with some of them i just can't make them any longer especially the one that you will see tomorrow uh, no, is that tomorrow? Oh yeah, it is tomorrow. It is tomorrow. That's going to be a super short build, I think, because it's super simplistic, but it's super effective. I, I, effective. I really love the build that we're also going to be doing tomorrow. There's just so many good ideas that you guys have loppeth into the chat and um, into the chat. Imagine, imagine. You can tell I have started to stream again. I'm just, I'm just calling you guys chat now. Jesus Christ. I, I I'm sorry. I'm very, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Ah, but yeah, here you can see me adjust the order a little bit and we're going to carve this path around. Obviously, it's going to end off weirdly because this is an island entrance. So it's technically that would, you know, tie into a different area that would be off to the right side there. I also really like the color palette, by the way, that we're using for this because I wanted it to be a bit more colorful and kind of work around the items that I really wanted to play. So for example, the red car, I knew that I wanted to have some mossy bits, so the green mums. So I, we, we just have all the flowers that have like red hues in them, like the very dark orange lilies. We have the black cosmos and the black lilies, which also have red in them. And I just feel like it really makes this feel more more lush more not impressive i'm looking for a word i think it would be impressive eindrucksvoll i feel like impressive sounds like i'm tooting my own horn which i'm not trying to do <clears throat> it's just it makes more of an impression right that's what i'm trying to do like it's just a bit more whew, it's like wow there's so much color going on because i feel like i don't want to i don't want a plain jungle because then it's just going to be forest core right so yeah really do like this though and also by the way pro tip if you want to use coconut trees on land you can do so by plopping some sand pathing down with your terraforming uh, permit thingy if you have the sand pathing unlocked and then you can also stunt the coconut trees just like you can with any other trees by using a normal fruit sapling not a coconut sapling just a little tip just in case because i always get comments like this when i use stunted coconut trees how you can stunt them or if you can stunt them yes you can and it's just like just like with any other trees same goes for the bamboo trees by the way just plop a fruit sap sapling in any other surrounding towels and you shall be good my dear yes you shall we are also going to be popping in a stone hinge off to the right right at the end because i felt like i don't know i wanted another layer and i wanted it to feel like there are ruins i was gonna get add a lot more stone hinges around this but i felt like it was drawing the eye too much away from the altar and from the pavilion because i really wanted those to stand out obviously and i also kept in a couple of the actual rocks that span on your that spawn on your island because i felt like they just added another version of the rock obviously you could also use that fossil that i have used in the past that like that one um you know the one that no one can fucking pronounce because i feel like that could also work really really well and i wish we had different colored rocks because imagine we would have like a red rock that we could just use for like more deserty themes or i know that we have the termite mounds but those are more sand colored i'm talking about like a very rich dark red or like a very rich dark brown 
oh, that would have been so perfect for this one. Imagine that. Imagine that. Or if we could have like a flat rock that we could put a smaller rock on top of to layer them. Oh my God, I would just lose my absolute mind, please. That would be actually be something that I would love to see. The only rocks that you can layer on top of each other is the stone um, stool. And then you can pop that fossil, the mirror on top of there. That does work. That does work. But that I think is the only stone that you can stack it correct me if i'm wrong though but i would imagine that oh i would love that so anyway enough whining i feel like every build i find something else to whine about not to whine about but to you i have another idea that nintendo could implement but then i'm also thinking if i'm having all these ideas why why, why didn't you nintendo mm? honey maybe you know next time i'm i'm free okay whenever you call call me okay i'm free i will i will gladly sit at your table and you know have a little conference and um, i will sit at my desk and have a little video conference and i will just i will just spam you with ideas until your brain starts smoking and then we will see what the next game is going to be imagine though we would have game changes like we have in the sims for example the sims curated like a team of game changes which are animal animal crossing the sims content creators and they help to improve the game to change the game i think that would be lovely for the animal crossing community especially now that the, that the animal crossing community has grown so much with this new game this new game that is now three years old or two years old imagine but yeah i think that would be really really such a nice way to incorporate the community a little bit more but oh well oh well what shall i do nothing because we are already approaching the end of this build my love i hope you enjoyed yourself i hope you really enjoyed this game let me know in the comments below if you're also obsessed with uncharted i really like the games i recently just started playing tomb raider i haven't finished it yet though i need to do that i need to continue I only put like half an hour in there game but yeah i shall leave you now with a montage of the finished product my love take care of yourself i shall be back tomorrow so i will see you when i see you and um yeah bye, -bye.